Hey, this is Seth, and in this video, I'm going to be interviewing the owner of an actual six-figure digital marketing agency. They see it so much online about you know making money with the digital agency, and so much of it is misleading. So I want to have uh, an interview here with someone who actually has done this, and we're going to uh, talk about the six myths of owning a six-figure digital marketing agency. So my friend's name is Samantha. She's been running an agency for several years. I'm very excited to talk with her and share all this with you. Thanks for being here, Samantha. It's great to be here. Thanks for having me. Uh, so why don't you tell people really quickly a little bit about like, you know, how old are you? Um, tell us a little about your agency, like when you started and what, you know, what your agency is doing now. Sure. So I'm 27 years old and I made the decision to start my own agency after I was working for a digital marketing company in Miami. And I loved what I was doing, but I was feeling unfulfilled working for someone else so i decided to work for myself and right now we offer a variety of services social media email marketing seo content writing a lot of organic strategies primarily so that's an overview of where we are now and like when how old were you when you started your agency like how long did it take for you to get to the six figure level so i was 24 when i started my agency it was in 2021 and i got to the six figure level i would say within 15 months so what would you say is myth number one? My opinion, myth number one is the juiciest one. And that is that you can make a lot of money just by doing organic social media or providing organic social media services. The clients often don't have realistic expectations of what they're going to invest versus what they get out of it. So a lot of clients will come and maybe they're willing to spend $500 or $1,000 on social media, but they're thinking, oh, I'm going to invest this money and I'm going to get tons of new business or I'm going to get you know, 10,000 followers or whatever this expectation is. And that's just not the case because in order to get those types of results, you have to do paid social. As you know, Facebook, Instagram, these social media companies make money. And the only only way that you're going to actually get new eyeballs on your posts is through paying, through what we call paid social yes. media, Facebook ads, Instagram ads. Myth number two would be that you need a ton of experience to make money and get clients by doing some sort of digital marketing skill. And this was really cool because when I first started out, I was essentially a freelancer. I didn't start out by hiring a bunch of contractors to help me. I just said, I'm going to start with myself and build this up. So to get my first clients, I actually went to Upwork and my first clients paid me $50 an hour plus, which if you're just starting out, I think that's pretty good because there's this misconception that you have to charge like pennies if you're going to get any clients in the beginning. And that's simply not true. I'm the example of that. That's that's really great. I wanted to, as we do these myths, again, we're trying to be both realistic and inspiring. So it's like, I want to tell you what, you know, the stuff, the hyped up st stuff that isn't true. Um, but now I think this is really good exa example. You don't need that much experience. Obviously, you've seen me interview my student who've gotten clients and jobs with very little experience. So yeah, we want to, you know, inspire you guys to take action. Obviously, you've seen a lot of successes on, on the story and Samantha is a great success. But now here with myth number three, we want to kind of also bring another reality check back to, to this whole thing. Uh, what would you say is myth number three? I love this one too. So these course creators that you see, these social media agency course people who promote how easy it is to start a marketing agency, they often try to sell you this lifestyle that running a social media agency or a digital marketing agency is glamorous. You can outsource everything, sit back and relax. You don't even really need to know that much about digital marketing in the beginning. But the reality is that especially as you start out, it's not glamorous at all. It's a lot of work. It can be very long hours. Uh, you will have challenges, maybe clients who aren't treating you well. Uh, you do have flexibility to an extent but you also have more responsibility because you're working for yourself and you're dealing with all of the challenges that come with that. So the lifestyle they're selling you is not reality. You do get certain flexibility, but definitely don't go into it thinking that you're gonna live this amazing, glamorous lifestyle from the get-go. What would you say is myth number four about running a six-figure digital marketing agency? So another thing a lot of these course creators say is that it's very easy to outsource tasks to various contractors that you hire for different things. And I would say that's definitely a myth because I have had the pleasure of working with some incredible people in my time in my business. But at the same time, with working with people in any setting, there's going to be 
communication issues. There's going to be people problems, drama, whatever it is. Maybe two people don't get along and there's some tension and you have to be almost like the, the mediator and all of that. So the question is, are you ready to do that? Are you actually enough of a people person to be ready to resolve those issues? And the other thing too, is whenever you hire contractors to help you, you become responsible for their work. So especially if they're client facing, which for example, if you wanted to spend your time on the beach and having other people do all the work, then you have to have some of those contractors being client facing. Then if something goes wrong, it all falls back on you because you're the owner of the business. So the myth that outsourcing is easy is entirely false because like in any business setting or work setting, there's going to be people challenges. That's, that's, uh, that's really well said. I mean, finding good people is in and of itself. I mean, th think about it, guys, there are billion, you know, there's a billion dollar industry in recruiting. Um, you know, my students, you'll see them on my channel, they'll get recruiters reaching out to them, out to them, because there's companies that are like, we need a really good PPC manager, SEO, so and so. And the rec recruiting fees to find the really good people, these companies pay premium rates, like literally, yeah. uh, there could be 30% of the first year's salary um, for certain fields. So like if someone gets hired at $70,000 a year, they might actually pay the employee, the recruiter like 20 grand for this hire, which just is an illustration of how valuable it is to find a good person and how difficult it is. The fact that if you don't actually know about digital marketing and you're putting all the faith on the contractor and something goes wrong, because as we know with PPC, I mean, it's a lot of configurations. It's a lot of actually knowing your way around ads manager. So if something goes wrong and the client's budget is gone and they didn't get any results and they're, they're going to want to talk to you about that. They don't want to talk to the contractor that screwed things up. And if you don't know what you're talking about, you're going to be in a very bad spot trying to explain to that client what's going on because you're not going to know. You, you can get good at it. You can find good people, but it's not like you just pick up the phone, get a client and then find a contractor and put them together and then just go to the beach. That's what we're saying. We end on a good note, which is, would you say it's rewarding and are you happy you've done it? Oh, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. Yeah, guys. So yeah, you know, we want to, you know, obviously have a balance here of where we want to be realistic with you guys, but we also want to make sure you're, you're still inspired because we both, we both, you know, love this field. It's, it's, you know, changed our lives. It's really great. It's a great opportunity. And that leads us to the sixth, the sixth myth of being a six figure digital marketing agency owner. What would you say that is? I would say that this one is that you have to have a lot of clients to make money because a lot of what having an agency is sold as is you get all these clients and everything's great and there's tons of money coming in and it is good to diversify your revenue and have several clients so if you lose one then you're not in a really bad spot but i am doing the same amount of revenue now with 10 clients as i was two years ago when i had 30 clients and let me tell you Having 30 clients was so much worse for my mental health because I was the point of contact for most of them. So they were all reaching out to me with their issues. They were calling me. They were complaining about things. And it's not all complaining, but sometimes you do have situations where clients are unhappy and you have concerns to resolve. And if you're the point of contact, it's a lot easier to do that with 10 clients versus 30. So I would highly recommend getting a smaller number of high paying clients or clients that are reliable that are a good fit for what you're doing and stick with those rather than just trying to get as many clients as possible because it's just not going to be as sustainable. Absolutely. I know we've been focusing a lot on the reality of the difficulties, but what has your life been like running an agency? Like uh, what, it's, what is the good, the good stuff? It's been amazing. I have faced a lot of challenges, but it was a hundred percent worth it. All of it. I mean, I've been able to work remotely. I traveled the world last year. I traveled internationally a bunch. I was living the digital nomad lifestyle. And that's how I met you. But, you know, I went to Spain, I went to Thailand, El Salvador, uh, traveled around the U.S., was in California, Florida, wherever I wanted to go. And for me, I was just, I think about this all the time. Like if I died tomorrow, I would be happy because I would just know that I've lived so much more than what a lot of people have. And I'm just really grateful for the opportunity and the life that it's afforded me. Absolutely. I think it's really funny. We, we said this at the end of the interview, I think it's like the reward. 
people that actually like want to learn this stuff rather than you know front loading it with like oh my god everything's so amazing um yeah which i do i do you know in some interviews but um maybe i'll even like cut it in there or something but yeah just put it at the beginning <laughs> but i think it's it's worth um you know i think people understand that obviously having this kind of lifestyle is great and mm -hmm. we just wanted to give people a sort of realistic take on it. But I think it's awesome. I also, I, I just tell you, I was very impressed with you when we met. And I remember we were, um, it was funny, we were hanging out at like Sticky Island Cafe. And you were like, we were just hanging out and we just talk, you know, geek out about digital marketing and talk about things. And you were very chill. And then you got on a call with your team and you like changed. Oh, yeah. You were just like, you're just the boss. You're just like, okay, no, 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 no. Here's what we're going to do here. Okay, no, no. This is what we're going to do. Okay, and then, okay, great. And you were just like, in control it was really, really like funny to, to listen to you you like changed mode went into boss mode and then you like came back and we're like so you know what's for dessert it was really fun yeah. so yeah is there anything you want to say to anyone watching the interview now about digital marketing or starting an agency yeah um you know, there were lots of reality checks we put throughout this interview, but I would say that if it's something you really want to do, then just go for it. Just really get your hand, get your hands dirty for lack of a better phrase, like really be willing to get down and do the work and hustle in the beginning and you'll get rewards from it. And it's really just about loving what you do, because if you don't love this stuff, you're going to get burned out. But if you really do love it and you're passionate about it, you can a hundred percent make a thriving career out of it. It's possible for anyone. I truly believe that. So um, yeah, I mean, that's just my advice. If it's something you want to go for, then just go all in, don't look back and, and just get ready for a wild ride. because It's going to be amazing. Well said, well said. Well, thanks again, Samantha, for, you know, sharing your insight here. Um, you know, guys, if you have comments or questions, feel free to leave them below this video um thanks again samantha and you know maybe we'll talk again in the future 100 percent. thanks so much for having me